Hello, I'm going to do the Virgo Weekly Energy. And this is a general reading. And this may or may not resonate with you. What do we got going on for Virgo? Who needs to hear a message? All right. We have Prince of Swords. I feel like this one wanted to come out. All right, the devil card. We have 10 of wands. We have six of wands. We have the fool. We have the high priestess, king of pentacles. So I feel like there's definitely has to do with a Capricorn. And then we have the star card, which is Aquarius. All right. I feel like you're moving forward by the relationship that you have with a Capricorn. I feel like, because um, I see that the horse is moving forward here. And then we have the Devil card, which is Capricorn. And then we have the King of Pentacles, um, which is on the outside. And King of Pentacles and the Star. So there's hope for this relationship. So if there's a Capricorn or an Earth sign or somebody that has the qualities, you know, of an Earth sign that's, you know, um, very like warm and genuine and easygoing, um, good at business, um, entrepreneur, starting a business. I feel like this relationship is going to move forward um, and it's going to be a successful relationship. It's going to be a new beginning. Um, listen to your voice and there's not going to be a burden on your back. Maybe you're worried about this relationship. Maybe you've just started a relationship with a Capricorn and you're not really sure, you know, is this person going to have some bad habits? <clears throat> is this just going to be a physical relationship? Um, but I feel like this relationship is going to be a very positive one that you're going to move forward, that you're going to charge forward with. I feel like you were worrying about your relationship with this person. It doesn't necessarily have to be a Capricorn, but... <clears throat> or an earth sign but I feel like maybe it's this you've started a new relationship with someone it's either a friendship or a business partnership it could be a new job that you started a new business um, it could be a new uh, significant other I feel like whatever this relationship is that you're starting that you were worried about it that it wasn't going to work out that it wasn't going to be what you thought but we have the fool card right below the devil card so it's going to be a new beginning and you have the star card which is right next to this card and the star card represents blessings dreams hope having faith healing leaving the hurt behind a new relationship is a positive one okay so i definitely feel like for those of you that are just starting out with a new relationship with somebody that you were worried that it wasn't going to be you know, you were worried about it. Just listen to your inner voice. What is it telling you in your inner gut? Does it say that it's going to be a positive one? Does it feel like it's going to be a positive one? Um, listen to that. The cards are saying that it is going to be successful, okay? Because um, Six of Wands is a success card and the Fool card is a new beginning. So you have new beginnings. There's something new that you're starting. There's something you're worried about it. There's something new that you're starting that you're worried about, but it's going to be okay. And you have to go in with a positive a positive mind. If you go in saying this is going to be horrible and this isn't going to work and it's not going to come out right, well, that's, you're going to make it happen. But if you go in, if you're charging forward, you're feeling positive, you're feeling good, 
and you have a positive energy around you, the relationship is going to work. Um, so I feel like a new relationship is a positive one. It's going to be okay. And I feel like you know that. All right, Princess of Pentacles, new beginnings. Princess of Pentacles is new beginnings, a new start. Um, it could be a new house. It could be a new job. It could be going back to your job, like maybe you haven't been to your job in a while. Um, King of Swords. Um, <clears throat> just, I feel like the King of Swords, it could be a new relationship with the King of Swords. It could be an air sign. But I feel like the King of Swords is saying, like, use your head. Like, don't be over emotionally about it. Don't overanalyze this new situation. Don't overthink it. Don't worry about it. Don't stress about it because it's going to be okay. Go in with the mindset that things are going to be okay, that things are going to be good, that things are going to be positive, that things are going to work out, all right? Ace of Wands. Aces are new beginnings. It's a new start, charging forward, moving forward, whether it's a relationship or a job or a new home or whatever this new thing is that you're starting that you've been worrying about, that there's no need to worry, it's going to be okay. You can do it. Um, King of Pentacles, that also could represent you because obviously Virgo is an earth sign, so that could be, this could represent you and the star on the other side saying that, hey, it's going to be okay. Don't, no need to worry. Maybe the Capricorn here represents that you've been having neg negative thoughts. Maybe you've been having negative thoughts about this new beginning. There's something new that you're starting, okay? There's something new that you're starting, that you're worrying about, that you're stressing about, that's been a burden on your back. Tens are completion. So this isn't going to be a burden on your back anymore because you're going to see that it's going to be okay. So maybe the Capricorn, maybe this the Devil card was that you were having negative thoughts that you kept putting out there. So you need to stop putting those negative thoughts out there. It could be a new relationship, it could be a new job, it could be a new home, it could be, you know, any of that. <clears throat> Whatever this new thing, if this relates to you, you know what I'm talking about. Judgment, soul searching will bring inner peace to many areas of your life, okay? So, I feel like this is saying... Finding that inner peace, not overthinking, not worrying about it, not putting yourself into a negative cycle, a bad habit of a negative cycle of thinking that the worst is going to happen. I feel like that's what the card is saying. Finding that inner inner peace, knowing that it's going to be okay, and everything will work out the way that it's supposed to. Okay? No need to worry with that. And then... We have flowers. Be generous. Success and emotional fulfillment are yours. I feel like that is when you are generous, when you're positive, um, when you're in a good mindset. Success and emotional fulfillment are yours. You're in a happy place. Success. This is a success card also. All right, Virgo, so you have a lot of positive thinking to do. There's some good things headed your way. It's a new start, something new that you're starting. It's going to be very positive and very successful. And you're going to feel good about it, and you're going to be happy about it. All right, thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.